The ankle joint is a modified saddle joint in which the talus is nestled in the mortise formed by the distal tibia and fibula. The ligamentous support of the ankle is quite strong and pure dislocations are uncommon. Usually there are associated fractures of the distal tibia and or fibula. A neurovascular evaluation of the foot should be performed before and after manipulation of the ankle. Special attention should be paid to the neurovascular supply as these structures can be trapped during reduction. Always evaluate the joint above and below the injured joint as these may also have been injured. Unless a strong contraindication is present, it is advisable to administer IV sedation and analgesia to patients with ankle dislocation early in their care, preferably before conducting any manipulations or radiologic studies. Reduction is always painful in the awake patient and sufficient premedication must be administered. Prior to the reduction maneuver, prepare a post-reduction splint. In most cases, this will include both a posterior splint and a sugar tongue. Posterior dislocations are the most common type of ankle dislocations and often are associated with fracture of one or more of the malleoli. Position the patient supine in the bed and flex the knee to relax the Achilles tendon. Instruct an assistant to hold the patient in this position during the reduction maneuver. Grasp the foot with both hands, placing one hand on the heel and the other on the forefoot. Slightly plantar flex the foot and apply axial traction. Instruct your assistant to apply downwards pressure to the tibia to stabilize it. Then pull the heel anteriorly to reduce the dislocation. Anterior dislocations are less common than posterior ones. The dorsalis pedis pulse may be lost secondary to pressure from the talus. Position the patient supine in the bed and flex the knee to relax the Achilles tendon. Instruct an assistant to hold the patient in this position during the reduction maneuver. Grasp the foot with both hands, placing one hand on the heel and the other on the forefoot. Slightly dorsiflex the foot and apply axial traction to free the talus. Instruct your assistant to apply upward pressure to the tibia to stabilize it. Continue to apply traction and push the foot in a posterior direction. Lateral dislocations are really fracture dislocations and orthopedic consultation is generally required as part of the ED course. The emergency clinician will often need to reduce these injuries due to the extreme lateral deformity and the occasional compromise of the dorsalis pedis artery by stretch. Position the patient supine in the bed and flex the knee to relax the Achilles tendon. Instruct an assistant to hold the patient in this position during the reduction maneuver. Grasp the foot with both hands, placing one hand on the heel and the other on the forefoot. Slightly plantar flex the foot and apply axial traction. Instruct your assistant to stabilize the tibia and then move the foot into the proper anatomic position. After the reduction maneuver, repeat a neurovascular examination. This includes palpation of both the posterior tibial and dorsalis pedis pulses and assessment of capillary refill. Also, assess for sensation to light touch throughout the foot. Apply a posterior short leg splint with the ankle positioned at 90 degrees. A sugar tongue splint placed over the short leg splint provides additional stability. Obtain a post-reduction radiograph to confirm proper reduction. Consultation with an orthopedic surgeon is mandatory after successful closed reduction of an ankle dislocation.